Every time I pray, I get cold chills. Why is that? And I get chills on my spine. Well, this could be a couple of things, but when you pray, it is an actual interaction that's taking place. It's not you speaking into a void with no response. Anytime you pray, there is a response from spirit. Spirit or creator draws near to you. And when creator draws near to you, you feel that. You feel that in a variety of ways. You feel that in your body, mind, and spirit. But let's just break that down a little bit for you. You feel that in your bodily energies and systems. You feel that in your auric systems. We have auras, chakra systems. You feel that in the energetic system, but you also feel that in what's called your grid. As a clairvoyant, what it looks like to me when, when I when I click in and I look at people, I see them in this kind of spherical grid within which is contained just a myriad of highways, byways, express points, portals, access points. These grids lock into other grids. Like it's a whole thing, which we won't go into, but there's a lot going on in the grid. And so when we put out the call through prayer and even meditation, spirit always responds and in doing so enters in to our space to dwell with us, but also accesses our grid, which accesses our auric, our chakra, and ultimately accesses our physical body. So depending on how they're coming in, and that can change depending on what type of what type of emissary might be drawing near, and also what kind of grid you got going on, because people walk around with various states of health within their systems. And sometimes our grids have blockages, uh, blockages and obstacles. Sometimes pathways are obstructed, whereas other ones are wide open. And so it really depends on what your working with, if you will. Uh, but when spirit draws near, ultimately you get that impact in the physical body and you'll feel it. And so what I always recommend to do is just make a note of that. When I pray, I feel something in my spine. When I pray, I feel something in my head. Because when you're out and about in your day, tomorrow, next week, in a year, and all of a sudden you feel something cold along your spine or you feel something happening in your crown. That's your signal that spirit is drawing near to you for some reason. Now you're not praying at this time, but maybe they're coming to you with some information. Maybe it's a heads up. Look at your environment. We've got something to show you. Maybe they're giving you a download. And anytime I feel that prompt from spirit, I always stop. Hammer time. I stop and I pay attention. I do the requisite turnaround. You know, I look and see what's going on around here. Is there anything that I should be noticing? And then I just allow for whatever to come in to be received by me. Also, curiously, different entities feel different when experienced by us. So when I experience something like an angelic energy, it feels very different than when I experience something like an earthbound energy, what we'd call ghosts or fourth dimensional entities. And I feel that differently in my energetic body, but also in my physical body. There's different calling cards for different entities. And it's going to be different for me than it is going to be for you because we have different bodies and these are our instruments. The more we bring the body into alignment and into a state of high vibration, the easier it is to perceive what's happening on all these different levels. I know I kind of went on a little long, but um, it means spirits drawing closer to you. And as it does, your body is lighting up in this way. And so pay attention to that because this is also a clue going forward for you.